Ok, très nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Can you please tell us your full name and at what age you study tennis? Uh, so, my name is Petra Marcinko and I started playing tennis at six and a half years old. Ok, and I think you have quite a nice progression because uh, you're number one junior in the world, that's right? Yeah. Wow, and <laughs> how long did it take you? Well, basically, I mean, it took me since I started playing tennis, but uh, from ITFs, it was somewhere around two years to get there since I started playing, so yeah. And are you still junior, and now you're only senior? Well, I stopped juniors after uh, Roland Garros, that was my last tournament, so now I'm focusing only on senior ones. And you won one Grand Slam, right? Yeah, Which Australian one? Open. Yeah. How, how did it feel? <laughs> oh, it felt amazing. It was like a different feeling from everything. For any tournament I won, it was just so different and like very good. Can you tell us a bit about your game, what's your weapon and what's your style? Yeah, well, basically I uh, think I'm like very offensive player. I like to stay close to the baseline, go in the court as much as I can, uh, open the court, go onto the net. I feel like my best weapon is my forehand because I basically do most winners with it. What's the shot of your game you need to improve the most? Oh, I feel like I need to improve on my serve, you know, and also to get a bit stronger like physically so I can hit harder and maybe like my footwork, <laughs> that would be. And what about the mental side? Uh, mental side is okay, okay for now, yeah. yeah. There is some moments I can work on and to be more consistent, of course, but I think for now it's good, but still. Are you going to keep growing? Uh, I don't think so. No? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> so you're like 180 yeah. something? No, I'm 176. Oof, 76? But yeah, okay. my, my ponytail is high right ah, now. Okay, so. that's right. Oof. No. <laughs> no, no, but I didn't grow since like two years, so okay. I don't think. You're done. I'm done. Have you ever been to Porto Rosa? It's the first time. Uh, I've been here once because I was playing a tournament in Copar, uh, close to here, but uh, it was rain delay and then we played uh, on these clay courts there. And how you feel on the tournament? It's good. I mean, it's a WTA, so it's like a bigger experience. It's uh, well organized. It's different when you play than when you play ITF, so it's very nice. I like it. And in terms of level between junior and senior, how you feel on tour? Well, I would say maybe in like the lower senior ones and juniors are practically the level is same. It's just the senior girls are more consistent and. Let's say mental side is a bit different than juniors. Yeah. They don't give up uh, like fast sometimes and it's a bit different, but I think the level and the game is like similar on the lower level of senior one. Okay, so last thing, yes. we're going to face each other. Okay, I give you my racket, so you're probably going to play good. Okay. Because it's a good racket, so. And maybe you, you would have a uh, decision. I do, I do, I do, I do. I'm going to, yes. Of course, <laughs> at 8-8 eight, eight is going to be the decision. It's going to be the difference, yeah. I guess. Okay. okay. All right, good luck. Thank you. Thank you, you for too. taking time to hit with us. Yeah, of with course. Me, actually. And yeah. the center court is so nice. So here we go. Yeah. Vamos. Vamos. So it's truly a good game. It's going to be a tough one. Up or down? Uh, down. You tell me stop. Stop. It's down. Okay, I serve. All right. Good luck, Petra. Vamos. One zero. Oh, nice. So basically, uh, Petra, you never miss? Oh, uh, well, I do, but let's say I don't. <laughs> and is it something you really focus on? You tell yourself? Well, on practices, yeah, I focus a lot, like not to miss in a net. I think that's like my main goal. Yeah. But on uh, matches, I don't think much about it because, like, I go aggressive, I go risky shots. Yeah. So if I miss, it's not that big of a deal. Do you choke sometimes in the third set? Oh, it didn't happen much. It didn't happen much. It happened a few times, of course, but not too much. And do you work with a uh, like mental coach to be um, able not to think too much? No, my dad is my mental coach. Okay. <laughs> if that counts. And how is he? <laughs> yeah, he's okay. He guides me mentally. Like my whole life, he knows me good, so I get tired. So you have like a coach on court and your dad taking yeah, care of you outside. Basically, it's usually my coach on my practices or my match, and my dad is like on the side, and then sometimes he sees something and then tells me. Yeah. So, yeah. So after seeing my 
very keen game. <laughs> what you think, Petra? I thought you were gonna be worse, honestly. Really? <laughs> yes, okay. I got scared now. <laughs> Am I allowed to play very like dirty tennis because I cannot compete no, okay. in terms okay. of uh, cleanliness. If, you if, if that's what it takes you to win, then it's okay. You don't mind? I don't mind. Okay. Okay. Any bet on the score? Uh, you go first, then I tell you. I think I can lose 10-7. <laughs> That's optimistic. <laughs> you think I'm gonna make less than seven points? Oh, I would say, I would say ten, five. I don't know. No, I'm okay. joking. I don't want to be too confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, I go ten eight for me. Good luck. Be ready. All right. I told you to be ready. Two six. <laughs> Yes. Four six. No. Six five. Now she'll turn machine mode. Mm. What's her ranking right now? Uh, it's three hundred. Okay, so it's going yeah. pretty fast, right? Yeah, yeah. Basically, because I started the year as one thousand, so. Yeah. Thank Seven six. Yeah. Who's your favorite player in the feminine part? Honestly, I don't know. I don't like... You don't really have idols? Yeah, not really like big idols. I mean, I like to watch Iga or like she plays nice. I like to watch her Garcia now, like last few months. I like yeah. to watch her, but I don't really have anyone I look up to. 8-7, it's all you. I shouldn't have given it to you. <laughs> Nice. Oh. And Sam. And the boys? They also know. I, I liked really Roger. I mean, everyone liked him. Yeah. But now when he stopped playing, still, I don't really have anyone. Ah! No! No! Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Match point was trying to open. How can I do that? The 10 7 you said. Thanks, Petra. Oh, I said 10 7. Yeah. What is your dream? Oh, uh, dream. Win Portoros. Win Portoros, <laughs> this dream this week. No, but I don't know, to win like a Grand Slam one day. Yeah. That is like my goal, let's say. Would you have a preference? Well, I really like Australian Open now. Yeah. But US Open as well, because I like the hard court. So, but I mean any, I wouldn't mind if it's Roland Garros or Wimbledon. I wish you the best with Edge also, Edge Agency. Thank you. And yeah. uh, work on your Twitter, maybe. Yeah, I know. I know it's pretty bad. Important part no, of the game. It's usually good. I just got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Petra. Thank you Thanks very for much. Time. Thank you. I hope you guys like the video. Please put a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. And what's your Instagram? Where can I you follow? I don't have it. No? No. Why not? <laughs> oh, I don't need it for now. So. Okay. You want to be so just focused on court? Just focus on court. So you don't follow me anywhere yet. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, just get some tickets and come yeah, to see her game. <laughs> Like me, if you have the chance, try to shop on her backend. Alright? Cheers guys, bye bye. Thank you. Merci à l'agence Edge qui soutient Petra Marchinko dans son projet et qui a pour but d'aider John Jones à accéder à l'élite du tennis mondial, de nous avoir permis de couvrir le WTA 250 de Porto Rose en Slovénie.